All right, how are you? Good morning. Yep. Okay. So, how's your morning? <laughs> how's my morning? <laughs> right. I'm having my coffee. Okay. And what time did you wake up? This morning, I woke up early, earlier oh. than usual. Oh. Hmm. I got a phone call from my friend. Oh, nice. So, I had to wake up. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, so are you planning for another trip or what? No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. And, so when I hear, suddenly, um, it, like, it fell down the below zero. Oh. <sighs> so it must be very cold. Yes. So I can oh. get out of the... Out of my bed, uh -huh. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to go out mm. in, this, in this, uh, kind, this kind of weather. Right, right. Uh, um, snowy day. Mm, right, right. And um, today, um, Google notified me of some photos I took three years ago. Oh. <laughs> Yes, and I was like, oh my, um, this day three years ago, I went to the beach. Oh, that's nice. Right. Uh, uh, it's actually around here. So I went to um, the forest and then there's a beach. I think I've mentioned um, about that. Wow, the Google, Google do that? I thought only mm. Facebook do that. Ah, oh, because um, there are photos that I upload on Google, um, Google photo photos and Google Maps. Uh huh. Then it reminds of you. Right. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah. So uh, it reminded me of this giant tree. I, I think I haven't mentioned that yet. But when you do this one, like one person is not enough. Oh. Uh, like maybe uh, you will need around four or five people. That's huge. Right. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> and there was also this vine. It almost looks like a, a tree because the the stem is so thick. Uh huh. Yeah, maybe I, I have to hold it this way. Wow. Yeah, it, it, it climbed like trees from all sides, all over. Wow. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, um, let's continue um, with um, this one. Um, we're going to do this one real quick. Uh, I think like many of um, the things that we have here are easy. So, yep, let's jump to this part. Mm-hmm. Once we select a site, we unload our gear from the car, mm -hmm. set up our tent, and start the fire to prepare dinner. Mm -hmm. Building a fire isn't difficult if you have the right tinder and wood to get it going. After dinner, we sometimes sit around the fire and tell stories or sing songs. Before we go to bed, we make sure to put out the fire and put away any food and the garbage left out. Otherwise, animals, including bear, might stop and visit our campsite during the night. Oh. All right. <laughs> All right. So this is the second part of um, uh, the reading that um, we started um, yesterday. Uh, there's one thing that I want to focus on here, though. It says, after dinner, we sometimes sit around the fire and tell stories or sing songs. This one reminds me of, like, uh, my childhood activity. Like, uh, when I go to um, the countryside to my uh, parents, uh, my grandparents' hometown, after dinner, usually nobody leaves the dining area. Because my grandparents would tell stories. Uh -huh. If you don't want to hear it, you don't have a choice. You <laughs> have to stay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you ever had that kind of um, experience with your family? With my family? Um, mm -hmm. We 
when I was like a teenager, mm -hmm. our family used to go camp camping near the mm -hmm. near the riverside. Oh. My All father right. was crazy about going mm. camping, so oh. we had to follow him. But uh -huh. it was it was a good memory. Mm -hmm. But there's some um, we really um we, we didn't we couldn't make the fire. Okay. It was um <laughs> then we couldn't make up any fire. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh so we used a um, little stove to cook. All right, 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 right. Their work or like that. Mm -mm. We, can't, we couldn't do it. We couldn't do that. Oh, uh, so what were your activities before sleeping? Before sleeping, mm, that time mm, there were three, only three daughters. I mean, okay. my youngest one. Mm -hmm. wasn't there yet mm -hmm. <laughs> i was a teenager right 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 mm -hmm. so three of us all three girls then we just mm -hmm. we um we used to talk mm -hmm. and then all over the night mm -hmm. we really talked. oh <laughs> <laughs> uh my um distant relatives uh, like my second cousins, uh, third cousins. Um, what we often did was we make our own fire mm. and then uh, we get meat from the kitchen. Not really get, we steal meat from the kitchen. <laughs> and then we barbecue, we barbecue the meat. Oh. Yeah, that, that's how uh, uh, my, um, what's this one? my night activity with my distant um, cousins um, was. So it, it was fun because um, I grew up in a different place. Uh, they are from another place. So it, it was like an activity for us to like um, get to know each other like that. Mm -hmm. um, in, in Korea, like um, I think when you mention like family, usually you talk about your immediate family. Mm -hmm. like, but here in my country, like when you say family, like um, we have like second, third, like that. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, for example, like um, grandfather's brother has like um, children and um, the children of those ones have children. We still call them cousins. <laughs> so when we say like cousin, we have like um first cousin, second cousin, a third cousin, like that. Wow. Yeah, so we belong to like a huge family. How about in your country? My parents' generation. Okay. Okay, I guess they might have they could have um mm -hmm. raised with their way. Yeah, yeah. But um, my my case, mm -hmm. we just uh, hang out with the only just immediate family member, even mm -hmm. just my own family only. Mm. Right, right. Ah. Oh. Maybe um, New Year's Day mm -hmm. or Korean Thanksgiving Day. Uh -huh. to get together some, but that time still just immediate family. But mm -hmm. so. First day we spend re uh, really with the immediate family, and then mm -hmm. the next day, normally that big holiday lasts okay. almost three days. So right, right. The second day or third day, sometimes we visit our uncles mm. or uh, other aunt or cousin. Right. Mm -hmm. So only just once or twice a year mm -hmm. we could get together. Oh, I see. And talking about festivals and celebrations, we're going to talk about that one later. Okay, but for now, I would like us to jump to a question here. Yeah, over here. Yes. Uh, what do you think is the best food to bring on a camping trip? In my case, um, marshmallow, <laughs> cookies, and meat. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, of course, there should be like uh, some alcohol because I'm a little bit older now. <laughs> uh, those are very important. But in your case, what's the best food to bring on a camping trip? I'm not really, um, I'm not a meat eater now. I became right. three years. Okay. It's been three years. So uh -huh. I really always crazy about um, eating samgyeopsal before. Oh, but, uh, oh my. <laughs> no more. <laughs> then in this in the in that in that case, I would bring um shrimp or mm. some kinds of um mushrooms. Mm. Right, right. <laughs> All right, 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 right. Onion. Mm. Oh. Tomato. Mm -mm. Shrimp. Something like. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, seafood is good for barbecue. Yeah, and then I would yeah. bring some beer and wine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. And oh, coffee. oh, well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go anywhere without coffee. <laughs> it has to stay with you. <laughs> All right, and now we can um, skip that. So uh, for the, the other questions here, um, they're uh, primarily focused on um, camping. So uh, I think we'll just skip them. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll just move to festivals. And um, talking about uh, festivals, uh, can you see the picture over here? This is from Korea. Right. I think that's the mod, mod festival in Korea. Yeah, yeah. I, I was looking at it and said, Bulyong? Bulyong. Bulyong Mud Festival. Uh -huh, yeah, I know that festival. I've never been there, but I heard mm. about it a lot. Oh, like what did you hear about it? Maybe young generation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, this, but this one looks interesting. They go crazy. Yeah, like right, right. Tomato festival in Spain. Oh, like La Tomatina. Yes, La Tomatina. <laughs> and España. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so I wish I could go to La Tomatina festival. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> I Google and then I just right. throw it all the tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I haven't heard that they put a lot of tomatoes um at the back of the truck yeah. and then <laughs> just <laughs> yeah, just uh, flip. Uh, yeah, just, right. Tomato. <laughs> right. Uh, so there's like a sea of tomato on the street. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's really exciting. Mm -hmm. Now, um, let's take a look at this one. Do you enjoy going to festivals? Um, yes. Um, mm. Actually, I enjoy going to concerts. All right. It's so a music festival. Music festival, yes. Right, right. Are, are there many music festivals in your country? Used to be, but um, right. because of COVID, all right, the right. concerts. Mm -hmm. Stop and right. Maybe online concert. Mm -hmm. So when uh, there wasn't um COVID yet, like how many music festivals are held in a year? I guess um, if I really uh want to go there, then uh -huh. I will, I can get some um information from the website. Then okay, maybe um every two months. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's that's like a lot of festivals happening in in a year. <laughs> oh my! So, if it's like a music festival, is it just purely concert? Uh, what does a music festival look like? It was like likely um music concert, mm -hmm. right? Famous singer or famous uh -huh. band, and also uh, we have local festival, but Mm -hmm. Really, people go there. Uh huh. Like a mod, mod festival. Right, right. Mm -mm. Then some. It depends on the season. Okay. Like during summertime. I mean, um, springtime. There right. are 
there are some big um, local festivals everywhere uh -huh. to celebrate it's uh, spring now. Right. <laughs> and um, during four seasons. Okay. To um, celebrate the harvest. Mm. In the countryside, we have okay. some local festivals. Oh. Also. Like music festivals too? No, that's the local mm. festival about oh. their um, crops or oh. harvest. harvest. Mm, right, 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 right. Harvest. Mm. And how do they celebrate it? They sell their products, fresh ones. Okay. Ah. So people really go there, then we can get some fresh one with the reasonable price. Oh, good. Then we can taste in, in mm. on that spot. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yes. So we, we yeah, even though sometimes it takes really mm -hmm. long time to go there. Right. Mm. We do that. We go there. Right, right, right. Um, in, in my country, there is also like uh, some uh, veg, uh, some festivals like uh, like those ones. We have like uh, festivals for vegetables, flowers, and all wow. kinds of food. Okay. <laughs> And uh, what happens in um, uh, my hometown is that if it's like a flower festival, many people would decorate cars and trucks with flowers. Wow. And then they parade the cars on the street. Oh, really? We don't yeah, have it, that kind of parade. Hmm. Yeah. And then if it's like a vegetable festival, it's also the same thing. They decorate like trucks with vegetables. Really? So those one, those trucks are really expensive. Of course. Yes. <laughs> wow. I never right. decorated car parade. Right. Yeah. And so many people would um go to the streets and watch those um uh, trucks being paraded. Mm hmm Wow. Mm. Uh, it, it takes around maybe like um, three, four hours. Mm, wow. Mm. Yeah. Uh, because there are also um, people dancing on the street like that. Some popular, uh, some famous um, actors mm -hmm. um, also yeah. parade like that. Wow. I right. you remember then I went to <clears throat> Moto Show in... Right. It, it was... Not so big, maybe Manila. Uh huh. I'm not so sure. Manila, either Manila or Subic. I went right. to Moto Show. Mm. Ah, Subic, because I remember now I remember that um, <clears throat> the scene, then I can, I, I, um, you can um, picture it. Seaside, yes, mm. I can mm. picture it. The seaside right. reminds me. So, oh, so, well. So there mm. are so many beautiful, um, nice cars, mm. but I never seen those um, compromised car. Like it's mm -hmm. comp compromised by the owner, so okay. it look really different from a usual car. It's not oh really extraordinary car. Right, 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 right. Mm. So, yeah, some group of cars are um displayed and then okay. some other cars are moving then mm -hmm. i was like wow really right 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 yeah so uh they, they put a lot of customization so they look really different yeah they look really different wow. and it sounds like really it's mm. really um it's it's honking and then oh like it's not really driving but mm -hmm. uh, it, like it makes really big sound, you know. Oh. <laughs> so, All um, right. Uh -huh. My son was like, oh, he was really. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> At that time, he wanted to be a car designer, so he was right. really crazy about it. So. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> and what's your favorite um celebration? My celebration? Yeah, your favorite celebration. It could be something personal or something that is done by the whole town or country. Mm. 
my favorite celebration is mm. it Christmas Day can be. Christmas oh yes, of course, it's a celebration. So mm. all there are only two things that I enjoy um winter time. <clears throat> so I really before it's really cold and I really want right. I really go to I really need to start to hibernate. <laughs> <laughs> but only two things that I enjoy winter. Mm -hmm. The one is Christmas is okay. It's alone to December. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. in, in December and then right. snowy days. Oh, mm -hmm. this is first to snow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, still I feel like um when it's first to snow, I really uh -huh. um want to do something special. Mm -hmm. And people say, huh. You are not a teenager or you are not a girl anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right, right. So what do you want to do uh, on on a uh, day? Like it's the first day of snow. That that day, um, I don't want to, I don't want mm. to work. Okay. Instead, I go to some place where right. I can see the snow um, mm. piled, piled up. Okay. Uh, and then nobody uh, make any footstep. Right. So I want to mm. make it <laughs> by mm -mm. myself with right, right. the someone. Then I uh -huh. hold the hand and walk uh -huh. together and then talk. Oh. And having coffee together. Oh. <laughs> meditation. <laughs> All right, right, right. Oh, that's a cool way to spend um the first day of snow. <laughs> and let's take a look at some words here. Okay, stumble on, like um, you meet or see something. Um, uh, let me just ask you, because um, they say that um, in winter, mm -hmm. in winter, you could actually stumble on people that you haven't met in the, uh, you haven't met for a long time. Stumble on, mm -hmm. like find something. Right. Okay, uh, something or someone, both okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By, the, by chance? Yeah, by chance. That is correct. Okay, so in your case, like, have you ever stumbled upon on uh, something or uh, somebody on like the first day of snow? First day of snow. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't, so mm -hmm. I don't think I mm -hmm. um, stumbled on something or someone on a first snow day, snowy day. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, really? It happened always or? Uh, uh, no, no, uh, I'm just asking. I'm just wondering. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, all right. But uh, if there was something that um, maybe you could imagine, that okay on first day uh on the first day of snow i wish i could see this thing again or i wish i could see this person again what oh, or who would that be romantic. ah yes when it's first snow mm. <clears throat> when it's first snow day mm -hmm. i always imagine that i i could mm. meet someone that i like mm then I, w I would like to spend time with the person uh -huh. or if uh if i can make it in reality then mm -mm. of course i wish i could mm -mm. like that oh <laughs> all right oh uh, uh he like is like um if it's like um the first day of the year i always i always wish that i could um stumble on coins mm, really yeah, of course. I don't know, but <laughs> you know, uh, when you find coins, like, oh, this is a penny! Wow, <laughs> it brings back memories when you were a child. Like, um, you did not have money on your own, so when you see um, a coin on the street, like, oh, I can buy a candy. <laughs> <laughs> it it, uh, it makes you reminisce on um, those memories. So every time, like, um, it's the first day of the year, like, oh, maybe I'll find a coin here. Yeah, so sometimes I open my um, pockets, my pant um, pockets, 
Like I really understood. Like, oh, okay, I should be able to find coins. <laughs> <laughs> it, it brings you a childhood. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and then we have um this one. Uh, here's tall. Tall. Oh. Yeah, a small store. Um, earlier you remember um uh, you said like in that um festival they sell vegetables. Yes. 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 So maybe, yeah, maybe um, they sell them in stalls. Yes, it's not mm -hmm. a real store or shop. Mm -hmm. but, uh, right. Like a real little, little store, yes. Then mm. they sell in, on the street. Right. Then really busy spot. Be, mm -hmm. um, so many people, but we don't need to go to, we don't need to find a store, but there are right. lots of stores, so really handy. It's handy mm. and we can find find them easily, then we can right. shop shop easily mm. Mm, 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 from mm. the stores. Mm, right. Uh there was one time uh in Bergu City, uh there was a Korean festival. I forgot what's called. I, I think it was um Chuseok. But oh. in, in, in a way they had like a, a small parade. And they there's a part of the park where they put up some stalls. And that was my first time tasting songpyeon. Mm, how was it? It was good because it was um, freshly um, baked. So it was warm and smooth. And um, the ones that I've tried had like uh, fillings inside. Yeah, so there was like this. Um, some have like um, ground beans. Some mm -hmm. have like... Um, uh, I forgot. Yeah, but anyway, oh. it, it was so good. Ground beans? Right, right. Uh, so mm -hmm. it has like different fillings. Right, right. We have different fillings. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. of them can be um, beans and some other mm -hmm. can be... Um, um, what? Sesame leaves? No. Oh, yeah, sesame. Yeah, right, right, right. Sesame. Right. Mm -hmm. sesame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then can be sweet. Right, right, right. Then for the foreigners, I guess it's a sticky. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, yes. So do you still right. enjoy I, I heard foreigners can really stand the sticky feeling. No. No, no, no. I, I I'm I'm Asian, so. <laughs> so so I'm familiar with the texture yeah, and uh, yeah, texture. and how it feels in the mouth. So mm -hmm. I actually um like it. Well, my first time that I tasted that one because they were giving it away uh for free. Mm -hmm. Um, and then when I tasted like, uh, where do I buy this? <laughs> so they pointed to like a small uh, a small stall stall, and then they said over there. So I went, uh, I bought a pack, mm -hmm. and uh, I went back home. When I went back home, I had tea with it. It was so good. Wow. So you you liked it? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, it, it, it tastes traditional. Mm -hmm. Do you it, have a similar one? Uh, yeah, we do, but like a big ones, mm -hmm. not, not, not like the small um, bite-sized ones. Some peons are like bite-sized, right? We have a bite-sized Right, right. Uh, here in the Philippines, like we have um, sticky rice, um, cake, like that, big ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe the size of the phone. Oh. <laughs> then yes. it has a different filling? Oh, yes. Um, peanut. Oh. Um, ground crab. Ground crab. Right, oh. like river, river crab. And then they preserve it for um, many months. Mm -hmm. And then when it's right, ready, um, they get it and then they ground it. They add some peanuts and they use it for the filling. Wow. All right. Mm. Uh, the taste is not like a lovely taste. <laughs> but <laughs> it, yeah. Taste? yeah, yes, it is. And um, I, I don't know. I, I can't describe it, but um, the taste is also traditional. It's not mm -hmm. like the common snacks that we have today, like either too sweet or too salty, like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's different. Mm. And, and you, what's your um, favorite um, uh, snack, traditional snack? 
I like rice cake. Rice cake? Ah, yes. yes. I like it. So mm -hmm. whenever I live in a foreign country, then I could get almost every Korean um, ingredient. Mm. Right, and right. Cheat and <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. I can get, um, I could get um, almost all Korean snacks. Mm -mm -mm. Except rice cake. Ah, why is it? Why is it like that? I guess that um, really it requires mm -mm. Um, mm -mm. special skill to make rice right. cake. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> so, and also their um, expiry date. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. It's not that long. So, mm -hmm. right, right. I need to deliver to another country. Then mm -mm. it's more to be um, already bad. Yes, yes, so that is correct. It's not easy. Mm -mm. Right, right. So in your case, like, do you make your own or you buy it? I can make it. Oh, good, good, good. So I, I just buy some. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. And then um, we have here spectacular um usually um if there's like r something really good and people find it spectacular this was are the things that they put on instagram like i heard in korea there's this lantern festival mm -hmm. yeah we have it yes 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 festival yes mm -hmm. and i've seen a lot of people on uh, facebook and instagram Mm -hmm. um posting their uh, photos of um lantern festivals from around the world and, and it's a spectacular sight because the <laughs> the sky lights up yeah yeah spectacular yes mm -mm -mm. now in, in your case like what do you think is the most spectacular um thing that you've ever seen mm -hmm. uh, what do you what is the most spectacular thing that you've ever seen Mm. Spectacular thing that I've ever seen. Mm. A group of fish <laughs> snorkeling in a isolated island mm. in mm. the Philippines. Oh, <laughs> was it like your first time to see a school fish? Yes. Uh, yes. I, uh, <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, I, I've seen it like a hundred times, I guess. Mm. Really? Yes, yes. Yeah, I've been to like Palawan and we went um, island hopping. Oh. Every island we do snorkeling and we see a different school of fish. Oh, I wish yeah. I could try that one too in Palawan. Oh yeah, Palawan is a great place. Yeah, I, I've heard of it. And people mm. ask me that mm. since I've been um, mm. abroad many times. Right. So people sometimes ask me what are the best things that you have mm -hmm. ever you have, you have ever seen or you've right. ever done. Then mm -hmm. I always said that oh <clears throat> number one thing is that number one that really good memory or extraordinary experience is that mm -hmm. I saw the group of school of fish mm -hmm. yeah, right. in isolated island in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So it mm -hmm. was really I was amazed. Mm -hmm. And I was like a speechless <laughs> <laughs> because so 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 beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, where did you see it? Like in which um island? I I, I don't remember the the mm -hmm. name of the island, but okay. it took um from Subic okay. We had to use a mm -hmm. little boat. Okay. Uh, half an hour, less than an hour. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Then I felt like a bit uh, seasick because it was mm -mm. moving. <laughs> right, 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 right. Then finally we arrived and I had to um, lie down. Mm -hmm. I, <clears throat> I really had to get some rest too because okay. I, I felt like a, like a vomiting. Right, yeah. right, right. 
So I, I didn't feel like I, I don't want to do anything. But um, mm-hmm. people say that, oh, you should try something, do this and look at this. And uh-huh. oh, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. And then later right. on, and everybody's gone. And then, mm-hmm. I, and then I, oh, I should do something at least. <laughs> Right, right. I, I, I could see some set of snorkeling device okay. mm-hmm. so maybe I should try mm-hmm. and I was like oh so I really then oh my all right 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 so lovely and nice and then <clears throat> but um when I came back Korea uh, mm-hmm. in summertime I really tried mm-hmm. to do um mm-hmm. similar experience so okay. I went, I found the sea or I found the beach okay. that I could do snorkeling, but mm-hmm. I tried here and there, then the mm-hmm. all just, it, uh, uh, it turned out to be um, fail. Oh. <laughs> Those kind of fish. And, right, right. And maybe, then, mm-hmm. maybe because um, the sea um, in your country is cold. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. I, I could be. Yeah, that's mm. the reason. Yes. Mm-mm-mm. So L- all black or gray or dark gray. Right, right, fish right. There's no colorful fish and. Right, also, right, right. I, I felt so cold, Mm-mm. even though I was wearing that special. Mm-hmm. Um, like diving suit. Yeah, special Mm-mm. suit still makes Mm-mm. me cold and. Mm-mm. I tried many times, but all failed. <laughs> so I have to go back to Subing. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> right, right. Okay. And then what do we have here next? Oh, that ends it. So now we have the reading part here. Okay. Now this one is about a festival in Japan. So let's take a look at it. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Good. It is a great place to live if you like festival, and I do a lot. Here they are called Masuri, and there are many, many of them. I'm pretty sure that all year round, on any day of the week, there's a festival going on somewhere in this country. This one is an autumn fest- festival I stumbled on by accident. In this case, it was basically a big gap together organized by the community to show the local singing and dancing talent along with lots of colorful stores to sell in local products and food. Mm, okay, does this one uh, sound uh, or look similar to any festival in your country? Mm, like there are... It's a great place to live. Mm-hmm. And... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like the festival mentioned here. Like there's some traditional dancing and there are like stalls um, selling um, traditional food like that. Yeah, we have some Mm-mm. local festivals. Mm-mm. Then if we are having a time, especially during weekend, then right. if we want to go some festival, we can find it somewhere mm-hmm. our mm-hmm. country some festivals going on somewhere now yes yes oh i see and here's the last part in this case it was basically a big get together organized by the community to show the local singing and dancing to- it's the same one no dancing oh. talent along with lots of colorful oh. and local product and food Mm, okay. Yes, yes, the same thing. The yeah. thing about it, this festival was the traditional toys that were on display. Both kids and adults were encouraged to try them out. Here you see the kendama, a stick with a wooden ball attached by a long string. As you see, the idea is to jerk the ball up and try and catch it in the cup. Great for hand-eye eye coordination. Great yeah, for can, coordination. Right. Um, can you picture this one in your mind? Like no. this. There's a ball hanging that you catch it. Candama stick with the wooden ball. Mm. So right, so yeah, there's a, uh there's like a string <laughs> like this, and there's a ball hanging. 
and then you catch the ball. Uh, maybe I should um, show it. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> it is. So it there's is a string there. there. <laughs> and then uh -huh. you, yeah, you catch the ball. Hmm. Uh, there's a similar toy from the West, um, mm -hmm. but it's a cup, a small cup. Mm -hmm. And then the ball is bigger <laughs> than the opening of the cup. So when mm -hmm. you catch it, you have to balance it because it will fall easily. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, right. Um, do you have any traditional toys in your country? Our traditional? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we, every every country has a similar um, mm -hmm. traditional um, toys, but different mm -hmm. different uh, features, but mm -hmm. uh, the same purpose. Oh, like or, or we have. Um, I used to play with the little stones, five mm -hmm. little stones. Mm -hmm. So we say kungi nori. Then okay. We can. Um, how can I say? That's the girl's traditional mm -hmm. play. <clears throat> All right. With the little stone. Five or six. Hmm. <laughs> 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 and then we, we right. do it with that one, but uh, uh -huh. I'm not really good at it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but I enjoyed it. Then, like, like, how do you play it? We just... Uh, how can I say that one? Like juggle them like this? Not really kind of juggling, mm -hmm. but we, uh -huh. when we um fly make it fly up and mm -hmm. that time while I have to um catch another one, something okay. like that. Mm -hmm. uh, rules. Oh so, um, it needs to be really sensitive or very mm -hmm. quickly I have to uh, mm -hmm. do something, but uh, I was <laughs> oh <laughs> now let's try the last part here this <clears throat> this next one is called uh, uh, chugu kuguma chugu kukuma you keep it moving up and down along the string a bit like a big yo-yo mm -hmm. if you are good you can throw it in the air and catch it mm. This last one is called Tech Odori or Bamboo Dance. Two bamboo poles are moved in, in and out while people dance in time to the beat. Mm -hmm. What's this bamboo dance? A bamboo uh, pole. A tech yeah. All <laughs> right. So uh, it's a kind of um, dance. I don't know if it's, simi uh, uh, if it's similar to like um, our national dance, but I'm going to show it to you. So hold on. Okay. All right, here. Uh, so this one is the national dance of the Philippines. Oh. Yeah, so there's like um, two poles and then the dancers put their feet in between the poles and then close. So if you are not careful, your feet <laughs> will be stuck in between the two poles. And it's actually a very fast dance. Have you, have you ever seen this one on, on YouTube or on TV? Uh, take a look at it. Mm. Ah. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> oh, if they make mistake, then what's going to happen? They're going to hurt their foot? Yes, that is correct. And they should be always couple, men and women? 
or it doesn't um, uh, sometimes um, like um, only girls sometimes only boys uh, I think like the, it has a lot of variations but it takes a lot of practice right because so. because the dancer um, and those ones holding the poles they have to coordinate right right yes mm. otherwise <laughs> <laughs> right right <laughs> Well, it is a really a great harmony. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, that is correct. Korea also has some beautiful traditional dances. I heard we have um mask dance and we have mm. a fan dance. Oh, fan dance! I I have heard that. Yes, like girls. big fans, colorful. Yeah, big fans and colorful, mm -hmm. and wearing um traditional hanbok clothes. All right. Mm -hmm. Hanbok. It looks mm -mm. beautiful. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Have you ever danced it? When I was an elementary school kid, I had to do uh -huh. it because there is a <laughs> sport today. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Everybody has to do that. So, <laughs> twist, then I had to wear Hamburg and then uh -huh. <laughs> I put on a hat, like something right. like hair mm -hmm. headband. Mm -hmm. and then using fans and then right I had, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, had to do, I had to follow the teacher and then mm -hmm. oh right right i think i also experienced the other one when i was a kid like every year yeah usually sports festival <laughs> or right. something like that mm -hmm. kids will have to wear some traditional clothes uh unfortunately in the mountains our traditional clothes are a little bit too sexy <laughs> <laughs> men do not really wear shirts right <laughs> there's nothing up here just down there <laughs> just the colorful um red green yellow i don't know uh, there are a lot of colors um down there and i was a kid and i don't know why my ancestors wear wore it that way they put something on their head but they're not wearing anything here <laughs> Because of the weather, <laughs> uh, but it's a, it's a cold place up in the mountains. Mm, maybe they want it to be hot. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh -huh. uh, even in old pictures from early 1900s, like uh, our ancestors were wearing uh, a small hat. It's more of like decoration. Mm -hmm. There's nothing there, just down there. <laughs> or it's like originally. <laughs> Your ancestors originally are hot. <laughs> Maybe they want it to be hot. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Okay. And uh, as a kid, I had to wear that um, traditional costume like almost every year. Yeah. So, so it was quite embarrassing <laughs> because <laughs> other kids did not wear the same costume that I had. They are from a different place. Mm hmm. Mm, uh, I think they were wearing like um, the Philippine national costume. Have you seen it? Mm, yeah, white, silver, right, um, silk, texture, mm -hmm. uh, correct, beautiful, right. Um, so like, like oh. this. <clears throat> uh, why only girls? No men. Oh, here this one. Oh yeah. Uh, that yes, is, so you know, like a silk, right? Um, the boys who and the other boys when I was a kid, many of them were wearing like this. As a kid, I wasn't wearing <laughs> anything on top. So, do you yes. wear that one sometimes? Only for wedding on that very one? special oh, occasions. occasions on a very special occasion mm -hmm. yeah and um usually for officials yeah be because this one is actually very hot ah, yeah and um it shouldn't be washed shouldn't be washed yes and um the fabric <coughs> the fabric will disintegrate then how do you uh, wash out you have to air dry it. <laughs> ah, air dry. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. So it's hot and you sweat a lot and then you can't wash it. Oh. 
<laughs> right. So um, the original like this uh, was actually made of um, pineapple fabric. Wow. Yeah, so it, um, it dissolves very easily on water, so they don't um, wash it. Mm -hmm. But the smell, um, the smell usually goes away uh, mm -hmm. because maybe of the uh, fabric. Uh -huh. Nowadays, they use more silk, like um, transparent silk. So it's much hotter. <laughs> Much hotter mm. and expensive. Yes, that is correct. Okay. And that ends it. Oh, why is it not moving? Okay, here. Um, earlier you talked about some local um festivals, uh, but in your country, um Chusok, I think, is one of the most is not maybe not one of the most, but the most popular one. Am I right? Chuseok? Right. Uh, do you think that is the most popular Korean festival or celebration? We have um, two biggest holiday. Okay. The one is New Year's New Year Day, but it's not. Right. Um, it's not uh, first day of January, but we have we follow a Chinese lunar calendar. Okay, Lunar New Year. Right, right. Lunar New Year, so mm -hmm. it's always the. Um, the date is always a change. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, sometimes it's in the middle of mm -hmm. um, January or oh. um, February, yes. Right. Either January mm -hmm. or February. Then mm -hmm. all family members get together. Right, we right. eat a rice cake soup and mm -hmm. then oh. we take a bow. Mm. To the to our parents and grandparents, mm. to mm. the elderly, then mm. the, that means we wish a uh, good luck for the the rest oh. of the year. <clears throat> then, in return, we get some lucky money from the parents. Oh, that's why kids love it. Love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they get lots of pocket money in that day. Right, right. Mm -mm -mm. And we wear special clothes, traditional clothes. Not right. Like, not every adults, but the little kids mm. they wear special clothes mm. because they have to take. They have to take the bow. Right, right, right. They, they bow in front of their <laughs> um grandparents. They have to bow, yeah, to the right. elders. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. So then the second biggest one is the um, chusa. Mm. Like okay. it's Korean Thanksgiving Day. Mm -hmm. So we get together and then mm -hmm. we um, appreciate um, mm -hmm. all the... Because it, uh, it is in the fall time, fall. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, yes. We appreciate all the things for mm -hmm. the year. <clears throat> and then we eat songpyeon. Oh, yes, yeah, of Korean course. rice cake together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. We visit um, our ancestors' graves. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, usually, if there are like uh, big <laughs> celebrations, usually um, it's also non working um, day. Mm -hmm. So people don't go to work. So maybe they have like um, work off for around three, uh, three days, four days. Does it happen in your country too? Yes. Only. Mm -hmm. Uh, only Luna New Year and mm -hmm. um, Chuseok. Okay. So mm -hmm. we have officially we have a three days, at least three days of mm -hmm. non-working day. Oh. Sometimes if we are lucky, then we could have a, a week free. Oh, oh, nice! Including Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, and oh, okay, other okay. holiday together, like mm -hmm. on Thanksgiving Day, it happens sometimes. Oh, right, right. So what do you do when there's like no work? We have to visit our parents. We have to uh -huh. spend time with parents and mm. other siblings. So mm -hmm. first day and the second day, I must be there. Mm -hmm. The rest of the days, I'm free. Oh, uh, so you go to your family first before yourself. Yes. Oh, that is good. Good. And um, we already talked about Sung Pyeon, so let's skip that one.
Okay. What are some of the things that are done um, in uh, Chusok aside from like um, the things that you've mentioned? Is there any special activity? Um, Chusok? Right. Mm -hmm. I think I already mentioned everything. Like people get together and we bring uh -huh. food. Ah, mm -mm. Uh, especially songtian, mm -mm -mm. and also dumpling. All right, then right. We after a big um big breakfast together. We go uh -huh. to um grave. We visit oh. lots of graves. Uh -huh. That's how we do. Mm -mm. Then the rest of the time, people nowadays. Um, go to uh, some some people they go to amusement park uh -huh. for festival or go mm -hmm. shopping something mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> uh, in your case, how do you spend your like um personal time uh on that holiday? I try to be my friend, or I okay. try to spend my time with Moka mm -hmm. because <laughs> more time busy. So yeah, I right. try to be with her okay. oh <laughs> well that is cool at least you spend time with mocha mm -hmm. mm -mm. now I, I think korea has like a lot of festivals right mm -hmm. Mm -mm. so um next time that um we meet um i hope you can tell me some um interesting festivals for foreign um for foreigners okay all right. Okay. Well, that ends um today's um talk, and I'll see you next time. All right. All right. So that's it. Bye. Good day. <laughs> yeah.